welcome to Golden Eye Jamaica. So a couple of days ago, us Bond fans finally got the big live review for Bond 25 straight from Ian Fleming's iconic house Goldeneye on Jamaica. Now normally these things are incredibly exciting and you would think that would especially be the case this time after such a long wait all set in such an iconic location. But somehow it was all pretty underwhelming. All that really happened was that Fugunaga listed the cast in a pretty unexcited way and we got to look at some montages of previous Bond films and some presenter that nobody ever heard of showed us the beach that Ursula emerged from nearly 60 years ago. We were all really hoping for the big title reveal, but it seems they haven't even got one yet. I was going to ask, <laughs> dare I say, like, do, do we have a title but completely nothing at the moment? Bond 25. No, I can't remember the last time we had a title when we announced the beginning of the film. I really don't know what Mickey G is on about here. He doesn't remember the last time a title was announced at an event like this? Well, how about the actual last time? Or the time before dead? Or the one before dead? Heck, I'm having more trouble finding a time in which they didn't announce the title at such an event. So again, debates on what the title for Bond 25 is going to be continues. I was in that group of people rooting for Shatterhand. We all know that Babs confirmed that that is off the table, which to me does make it seem like they do actually have a title, but they just don't want to reveal it yet for whatever reason. There were also rumors for Eclipse, which I really hope won't be the title. Sounds way too Twilight to me. Barbara also went on to talk about the importance of the Me Too era nowadays and wanting to incorporate that in Bond 25, which honestly really gave me the chills. Same holds for giving Bond an electric Aston Martin now, I mean what is that about? I might just be the guy that misses the good old days talking here, but meh. To me, the less political correctness in Bond, the better. We have enough of that in the real world. So other than that, we got to see the new cast answer some random questions from social media and before you knew it, the event was over again. Now, at this day, I was filming my casting video that I recently uploaded because I was trying to get on a Dutch TV quiz about Bond. So I was fully dressed up. It just happened to be on the day that this event was taking place as well. So just so you know, I wasn't dressed up for this event. It's just pure coincidence. In between shooting the video, we watched the event and my best bro left the camera on on purpose without my knowledge to film my genuine reaction. And you can tell I'm not as excited about this whole thing as I should be. I'm just looking at messages from other Bond fans on my phone, casually sipping my drink. I'm pretty bored throughout. Oh, except for the part where Anna de Armas was announced. Anna de Armas? Oh, daar heb ik helemaal op gehoopt. Dit is iets van Wardogs. Ik zei, ik hoop dat die er some of you may remember I talked about her months ago during a live chat when somebody asked me which actress I would love to see as a future Bond girl. I mentioned her. I would have never dreamed she would actually be casted too. I mainly knew her from War Dogs, a fantastic film by the way, and her eyes and that accent that really appealed to me. You know, and apart from that, she's really freaking hot as well, so hooray for my dream casting come true. I was also really happy to see Jeffrey Wright returning for his third outing as Felix Leiter. I'm all for continuity and it's great to see him return. Some pictures of him and Craig working together showed up today, that's cool. Rami Malek being the villain was no surprise to any Bond fan, but it's cool that he's now confirmed. He had this little pre-recorded cameo in the most creepy way possible. I really think this dude is gonna be a great villain. It's pretty cool to have the third Oscar winning Bond villain in a row aboard as well. Other than that, there really isn't a whole lot to talk about with this event. The cast seemed pretty bored and clueless about what is going to happen. I'm getting similar vibes to the one from Quantum when people really had no idea about what is going on. But yes, let's talk a little bit about the cast. As a matter of fact, Let's make it a game. Let's play Guess the Actor's Parts. Okay, so let's start with Dali Benchala. Clearly he's going to be a henchman type of some sort. He gives me a bit of a Gobinda vibe. He's French Algerian though. Never heard of him until now. Billy Magnuson. Another guy I've never really heard of. 
He has that look to be a slimy bureaucrat like Denby Inspector, something along those lines. Definitely think he'll begin as a good guy and then turns out to be a villain. Ah yes, Ana de Armas. You know, let's just take a moment to appreciate her. I already have a feeling she's going to be one of my new favorite Bond girls. Already a serious contender for the top 10 hottest Bond girls ranking too, if you ask me. Anyway, you would guess she would be the main Bond girl, but I gave it some thought. Craig's Bond never really had a true femme fatale. A chick truly working for the bad guy out to kill Bond. Maybe Anna could fulfill that part. And Lashana Lynch would end up being the main Bond girl instead. I know Leia Sedu returns too, but there's no way she makes it through to the end credits. Heck, she probably doesn't even make the opening credits. The story is probably going to be centered around Leia Sedu and around her dying and all, but I hope Anna becomes the main Bond girl. I would love to see Craig and his tenure with her in his arms, if that even happens in this new Me Too era nonsense they're on about, but I wouldn't mind seeing her play a Xenia Anatop type of chick either. David Densick. I'm clueless about this one. My guess is that he's going to be a secondary villain? Maybe he'll play some corrupt guy working for the CIA that gives Felix some trouble and is later be revealed to be in cahoots with the main villain Rami Malek. Who knows? Well, those are just some of my guesses. Share yours in the comments too. Let's hope things get going and get going well. Craig talked about wanting to go out on a high note and that's certainly what I'm rooting for too. Here's to the start of production for Bond 25, finally. Are you a fan of my work and you just can't wait for other episodes or content to come up to the channel? Well, you can now join the DBF community on my Patreon page. Supporting my channel grants you access to all my latest videos two weeks before the regular viewers get to see it. Your name will also be included on the Supporter Hall of Fame and you get the vote for the new content. And as a bonus for signing up, you will receive a personal thank you video from me, as well as these custom Blu-ray covers that I designed myself. These will all be received by email immediately, so you can pop them out of your printer and put them in empty Blu-ray covers to have your own DBF Blu-ray collection on your shelf. All support for giving back to my channel is appreciated immensely. You can find the link in the description and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot guys.